couple of lionfish. They're gonna fly up and be mighty tasty. Next up are the lionfish. And as you can see, they are also beautiful white looking fillets. I'm gonna take my trusty woods and water. You'll never guess who recommended that. And uh, anyway, we're gonna cut these up into small little, I don't know, uh, half inch, quarter inch pieces and uh, get it ready to add to the mix. So like I said, we're just gonna cut them up into nice small little pieces. Also gives me a last chance to feel for any bones because I can feel a couple bones right here. You know what, I have enough that I don't have to be too particular. I can just toss that. I'm uh, gonna cut them the other way. What's up, Jaeger? It's my dog. He wants in. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so there we go. We've got our fish in our bowl. Everglades, fish and chicken, some cilantro and a handy little container comes from Publix, fresh ground pepper, a little bit of kosher salt, got a training mix here. This has got a little bit of green bell pepper, some onions and some celery. Got some jalapeno peppers I'll be cutting up and putting in them. But right now the important thing is to get the fish going, so I'm not gonna put all of the uh, all the ingredients in just yet. I'll put some in a little bit later when I get home from work. I really just want to give the fish plenty of time to uh, marinate. So uh, that's my strategy. And I think that's about enough stuff to put in it for now. Uh, of course we got some lemons and limes and later I'm probably going to add some mango and maybe some avocado to it. I also have some strawberries. I watched Blue Gabe do that uh, yesterday and maybe I'll add them there. I've never tried that but uh, we'll see how it works out. Boy up a little bit so I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper. I like pepper so I'm going to add about that much. Here's some Everglades fish and chicken. A little bit of kosher salt. And we're adding some cilantro. Some of this Trinity mix. I'm not measuring any of this stuff, I'm just guessing it. Okay, we're gonna cut, gonna cut a few lemons and limes. I'll start with one of each and then I'll keep adding uh, until I have enough in there. what it looks like. I suspect that's not going to be enough yet. Add it in there and I think we have enough now. Also I think I'm going to add, looks like I got enough juice in there now. I'm going to cut up uh, at least one jalapeno, see what that looks like. everyone back from work uh, the ceviche has been sitting in the refrigerator for about five hours and uh, it's cooked up and ready to go. I've added a few slices of mango and 
Now I'm going to add a little bit of avocado and a little bit of strawberry and we're going to try that. This is going to be a crazy sensation of a lot of different flavors. My wife tapped into my avocado, so this is all I have left of it. Had some more over there, but they're not quite right. So I'm basically just going to take a spoon. Scrape it out. Now for the real test. I'm going to make sure I get a little bit of everything in there on that bite. Mm. Very nice.